What's up gangsters? Today we are back at an old abandoned strip club here in the west side of Jacksonville. It is known as the Silver Fox. It's been closed down for a couple years now due to violence. They've had several shootings out at this place. So we're gonna go ahead and check this place out guys. Stay tuned. All right guys and here we are at the front of this building. Apologize for the road noise, but it is right off the main highway. You can see it's been tagged up a little bit on the outside, but the inside is spotless when it comes to vandalism. Again, this place is huge too. That nice purple color definitely made it stand out. All right guys, so we just made it on inside. We're gonna go ahead and check this place out. Go ahead and start our way back here. Now back here, it looks like we are getting to the kitchen. You can see they've got some old cast registers. Not sure if that is propane, oxygen. It says it's non-flammable. You can see these massive stainless refrigerators that they have in here. And I'll tell you, I cannot believe they just left that inside because those are not cheap. Anything stainless is insanely expensive. Looks like one of the HVAC systems is right there. And back here is where the office would have been for the manager. You can see it's just completely falling apart. There would have been his desk and all of the filing cabinets associated with this place. Now it looks like back here it would have just been a storage room. As you can see it had a lock on it so I'm sure it had some important stuff in here as far as documents go. But you can see how bad this roof is leaking in this place. So this club actually got shut down a couple years ago. There have been several shootings over here. This is not a good side of Jacksonville. All right guys, and this would have been the front of the club as you walked in. As you can see, they have all the cash register drawers just sitting up front. Now what's kind of ironic is it says we do not sell alcohol. And look what is sitting right up front. Now that could have been another reason as to why this place closed down. So it looks like we've got an old ATM that somebody's already gotten into. Now this place is heavily locked down. I did get permission to come inside so that is why you don't see a lot of vandalism. It's more such just neglect in this building. And it looks like we've just got a little storage room right there. And let's go ahead and make ourselves into one of the bathrooms. So this right here is the women's restroom. Again, like I said, not much vandalism. Everything's still intact. It's just a bunch of neglect. You can see that the ceiling in this place has been leaking. The roof has been leaking pretty bad. You can see all the mold growing on the side of the wall. And it looks like each stall 
had its own sink because there's no sheared sink out here. All right, so we are back out to the main area of this building. Here's another bar that is in the back going towards where the dancing part of this club is, where the pole is at. Looks like they used to have a hookah set up here as well. Again, we do not sell alcohol, but I see beer bottles everywhere and old cash registers. Let's go ahead and take a look behind that counter over there. So we are back behind these counters up front. You can see they have tons of stainless equipment they left behind. Big stainless fridges that are worth thousands and thousands of dollars. I cannot believe they just left this behind. You can see the old soda fountains they've got. Again, they are almost so disgusting that they can't even be repurposed at this point. There's another ice chest right here. Got the famous soda gun and then another massive cooler. Again, like I said, you can see inside all that rust. This thing is almost so shot out that it is irreparable. We will make our way to the main stage. So here is the main stage area, guys. This right here is where the dancers would have been. You can see the large pole. And then all of the mirrors they have all around this place. You can even see off in the distance, you got all the mirrors on the sides and the tables where people could have socialized. Right here is the ramp the girls would have used to get up onto the stage. Now, just to show you guys how dark it truly is in this place, there's not a single window on this building anywhere. I'm going to turn this light off real fast. Absolutely pitch black. So it is a little eerie being in here by myself right now, but I'm doing it for you guys. So this right here looks like it could have been the VIP section or just another area for other dancers to be at. You can see they've got a little stage platform right here. And I believe you can see the holes in the ceiling and the floor. So I'm sure there's another pole there. And then on the outside, you can see where they have other little decks with chairs and stuff. And I believe that is where the patrons would have sat while watching. Now it looks like they did have a secondary bar back here. And again, just left tons and tons of stainless equipment that is worth some serious bucks, guys. Cannot believe they have not tried to yank that out and repurpose it. Get another view of this room now I saw some funny stickers over here on the mirror and I apologize but I've got to get a video you can 
going to work our way to the back. Now it looks like this right here would have been the DJ booth. And then they've got some old abandoned pool tables here as well. You can see all that disgusting mold. And we will go ahead and work our way to the back of this building. Now, I believe this is one of the dressing rooms for the girls. You can see it has got the countertop right there and the big mirrors for them to do all their makeup. If we take a look at the other side, there's also a bar stool over there as well. And we come to the back and there's actually a shower and then a toilet as well. So this would have been their own private little bathroom. And that is a wrap for this episode, guys. Thanks for coming along and stay tuned for next week's episode. And I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.